Hola people! How is it going on this first Tuesday of October? I've been checking out the Unreal Engine 5.7 preview and I wanted to take a closer look at what's new with our favorite topic, Control Ray. There are quite a few updates that make the whole experience smoother and more enjoyable, like with Dependency Viewer, Preview Node, and more. So let's dive right in. The first new thing you'll notice in Control Rig in this 5.7 preview is the Preview Node functionality. As soon as you open the engine, you probably spot it. This little icon lets you run your Control Rig up to a specific point in your graph, which makes troubleshooting way easier. It's kind of like the preview node we already have in Mario's, but here it's a bit more advanced. When you preview a node, all the downstream nodes get grayed out, basically paused, and you'll see a small number appear in the top right corner of that node. That number shows how many times the node has been executed. In complex rigs like the Mani Control Rig, that number can climb pretty high since there are tons of calculation running inside the node. Here a function. You can toggle the display of this number in the class settings under Rig Graph Display Settings. What's even cooler is that this preview state is also reflected in the execution stack. You'll see the same hit counts there along with the grayed out nodes that are reading downstream. For debugging, this feature is a total game changer. You can pause your character in a specific position, start a preview from the beginning, and then use the F10 hotkey to step through the execution to see exactly what's happening. It's super helpful when something feels off or tricky to troubleshoot in your rig. You no longer have to rely on find references or guess what's running. You can visually follow the logic in real time. That's a great addition. Along with the preview node system, we've also got some really nice quality of life improvements in Control Rig, especially around functions, optimization, and overall organization. This next feature is one I think a lot of you are going to love. Let's take a simple repetitive setup as an example. Now, if you right-click on any nodes, or even a bunch of selected ones, you'll find a new option called Occurrences. When you choose Highlight, Unreal will instantly show you every instance of that same node across your graph. This is super helpful for spotting patterns or repetitions in your setup. Maybe you've got the same logic copied multiple times, now you can easily see it all at once and figure out where it might make sense to turn that into a function instead. And that's the cool part. Once you've selected those occurrences, you can convert them into a function in one click using Collapse to Function. Creating functions is key not only for keeping your control rig organized, but also for optimization. Instead of working with one item at a time, you can switch to arrays or even use loops like a for each node to make your rig cleaner and way more efficient. And speaking of functions, there are a few nice quality of life improvements there too. Let me show you. Inside a function, you'll now see all the unused inputs and outputs displayed in gray. It's such a small thing, but super helpful when you're dealing with complex setups. It instantly shows what's active and what's not, so you can clean things up much faster. You can also remove a new pins directly from the entry node now, just right click and delete them. On top of that, you can reorder pins right there in the graph, without having to jump into the details panel anymore. Even when you drag and drop a new input in the entry node, you can now reorder it on the fly, and that works perfectly with bindings as well. So yeah, it's always smoother now. Another small but really nice update, one I actually mentioned in my previous 5.7 preview video, is the ability to rename array item nodes. In the past, organizing this was kind of a pain. We had to use comments or even create separate variables just to keep things clear, which wasn't ideal for performance or clarity. Now when you drag and drop an array item, you can simply label it right there in the graph. It's such a simple change, but it makes a big difference. Honestly, it's my new favorite little feature. And while we're at it, you notice that when dragging and dropping items into the graph, you can now get or set metadata directly from that action too. Another small but super practical addition that makes the workflow smoother overall. Last but not least, one of the biggest additions to Control Rig in Unreal Engine 5.7 is the Dependency Viewer Graph. I can't even count how many hours I've spent debugging or trying to figure out what was going on in a rig. But that's now finally over. Thanks to this new tool, you can visualize the connection between any items, whether they're bones or controls. For example, if you select a bone, the graph displays both its upstream and downstream connection. Double-clicking on any node expands the view letting you dig deeper into how things are linked. Of course, this also works for controls, but the real game changer is the relationship icon. It reveals how selected items connect to the rig logic defined in your graph nodes. Let's say your items are linked to a specific node, you can easily jump straight to it. 
Just open the menu in the top left corner and choose Jump to Source or use the Handy Out key. In seconds, you can locate the relationship inside your control rig and navigate directly to the node or item you want to inspect. This is incredibly useful not just for troubleshooting, but also for anyone diving into a control rig setup they didn't build themselves. For instance, one you downloaded from Fab or got from another artist. Everything here is read-only, so you can't accidentally break anything. The UI is super intuitive and actually fun to explore. You can lock, highlight, clean the graph, or hide connections just by hitting delete. Overall, it's a huge quality of life improvement that makes understanding and debugging control rigs faster, clearer, and way more enjoyable. So to recap, we now have the preview functionality, similar to what we already use in the material graph, but with some extra optimization tips built right in. Repetitiveness and organization are also much smoother now thanks to the new occurrences feature, which shows where the same node is reused and helps you spot where a function could make your setup cleaner or more efficient. Speaking of functions, they've also received some solid quality of life improvements, especially around pin management and overall usability. And finally, the big highlight in this 5.7 update, the dependency viewer. It's a massive step forward for debugging, analyzing, and understanding how everything connects inside your control rig. Overall, these updates make the whole control rig experience faster, clearer, and way more intuitive to work with. And thanks for watching this video, guys. If you want to know more about 5.7 Preview, don't hesitate to check out my latest video where I talk about 9 at Foliage, Substrate, Animation Mode with Selection Set, and much, much, much more. Thanks for watching again. See you next week for a new one. And don't hesitate.